Hello and welcome to this brief guided tour of Ship Constructor. The heart of Ship Constructor is the Navigator. The Navigator automatically arranges all of the drawings in a Ship Constructor project into a tree structure. At the top of the tree we have the project itself or the hull. Within the hull we have a number of units. You can think of each unit as being a block or a major assembly. Within each unit we have a number of different disciplines. So we have structure drawings, distributed systems drawings, equipment drawings and so on. You can see on the right that within structure drawings are arranged into directories automatically. So we have frame drawings, longitudinal bulkhead deck drawings and so forth. And then within each of those systems we have the individual model drawings. Within distributed systems we have pipe drawings. So we can uh, do pipe modeling, HVAC drawings for modeling ducting. And further down the tree we have equipment drawings for laying out equipment in the machinery spaces. We also have a series of utility drawings. Product hierarchy drawings are used for planning the sequence of events and build strategy. Interference drawings are used for class checking. And weld management drawings for planning welding. Assembly drawings are the first of our production output drawings. These, this directory of assembly drawings is generated automatically and each drawing contains all the information needed for fabricating one stage of the construction sequence. We also have composite drawings for arbitrary arrangements and approval drawings for marking up and uh, approval purposes. Export drawings can also be created for interchange with other systems. At the hull level we have hull drawings which can be used for defining curved shell plate and for developing out that curved shell plate into 2D plates for forming and templating. Other production outputs include nest drawings. Nest drawings are arranged by plate thickness and contain all the information for nesting and cutting. They can be created using manual or automated nesting. Profile plots are another type of production output and they contain all the information for fabrication of stiffeners and face plates. All of the drawings in the ship constructor tree are controlled by a templating system. Each of the templates is a standard AutoCAD drawing. You can modify this template yourself using standard AutoCAD tables, viewports and styles to get the layout and presentation that suits the way that you like to work. Let's go back to the top of the tree and take a look at the unit drawing. Ship Constructor uses AutoCAD's XREF and UCS system to automatically manage all of the component parts of the project. So the XREF system is used for managing relationships between different model drawings and the UCS system is used for managing all the 2D drawings and bringing them together in the right location in 3D space. If we move in for detailed view on part of our 3D model, we can see how the equipment, piping, ducting and structural drawings all come together into a common 3D model. Different members of the team can work on different drawings at the same time. If we want to take a closer look or perhaps do some modelling, say, on this frame drawing here, then we would just go to the navigator, the structural section and open up the frame drawing of interest. Once that frame drawing is open, then we can uh, zoom in for a bit of a detailed view and we can see the plate parts, stiffener parts and other component parts of this particular drawing. We also can use the AutoCAD uh, workspace system so that if we use the structural workspace, we automatically see all the commands relating to structural modeling are made available in this drawing. So for drawing, modeling, plate parts, uh, stiffener parts and so forth. Moving on on the navigator we can go down to a pipe drawing and open up that drawing. The pipe drawing can XREF in other equipment drawings for defining the starting points of pipes and then if we zoom in for a closer look we can see that all of our pipe modeling can take place in this drawing so that includes flanges, pipes, fittings, valves and so forth. Again, we can use the workspace system to have our pipe modeling commands available in this drawing. Uh, so we can see all of our pipe modeling commands as well as pipe spool management. Moving on down the tree, we can take a look now at uh, some production output. So we can go to an assembly drawing and take a look at the component parts of that assembly drawing. 
Assembly drawing generated from a template like the other drawings contains bill of materials. This is a standard AutoCAD table automatically populated by ship constructor. Parts are annotated using labels. We use multiple viewports for getting, giving different 3D views on the assembly. And we use keywords in the drawing to, which are automatically updated to include information like weight and center of gravity. Moving on from our assembly drawings, we can go to some other production outputs such as an S drawing. Let's open up an S drawing. And we can see that this nest drawing contains some large parts that have been nested onto a plate and we can go ahead and nest smaller parts later. Now if we zoom in for a closer look we can see that we have all detailed information about the plate that's being nested, the utilisation rate and other information about the dimensions of the parts in the drawing. And finally in our production output we can move up to the uh, profile plot part of the tree and open up a profile, profile plot drawing and if we take a look at an individual profile plot we can see that each profile is automatically dimensioned and other information such as the end cut treatment will be applied to the profile is automatically included on the drawing. So let's finish up by going back to where we started which is at the unit drawing. So in summary, the Ship Constructor Navigator manages all of our model and production drawings. It uses the standard AutoCAD, OixRef and UCS systems to bring together all of the different component parts of the project so that everyone on the team can work on a common 3D model. That concludes our guided tour of Ship Constructor. Thank you for watching.